Hello, my name is Robert Kay. I am product specialist here at Atlas Copco. Today we're going to talk about Tools and 8. So let's get into the software. So in Tools and 8, I'm not limited to only using the standard reports. So reports that I run frequently, I can customize and save as a favorite, and they show up above here. The way to do it is you select the filters that you want to set. And when you're happy with this, you click on the downward facing arrow, click on favorites, give the report a name, and I can select a color and a description to describe what this report does. If I check the global box, uh, this report will also be available to any other user of Toolsnet. So you can see that favorite shows up here. And if I'm another user, I can go into my settings and I will find that new favorite report under global favorites and I can make it visible in my report center. The benefit with that is that I know I'm running the very same report as other users. So I'm not getting false positives or false negatives. When I run a report, I can also change which columns are available. So right now you can see the default columns, but I can go in, I click on this arrow in the column and under columns, I can see which columns are available. So I can both hide columns and add others, depending on the type of system I have. So if I have a press system, I will likely not want to see the final angle and torque results, but I can check the force information and stroke. And I can, change, I can save these changes by clicking on the Save button. I can also group the report by one of the columns. So if I want to group it by status, so I'm, I'm looking for all results. But as I drag this column up here, I will now see everything sorted by torque status. So I first see OKs, then I see low torques, and I don't have any high torques here. But I can add, if I add angle status, I can see torque status and then angle status. So I have torque OK and then I have the various results for angle status. And under torque low I can also see it grouped by angle status. And I can also add additional filters to this report. So without having to export this report to an Excel document, I can add a filter directly in here. So when I click on the arrow, click on filter, I can filter the results on the final angle value. So let's say I'm looking for an angle that is greater than 50 degrees. And at the same time, it is less than 200. And that is how you customize a standard report. If you would like to learn more, please contact your local Atlas Copco representative. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.